is there's a skin issue that's been happening it's like for 10 years. Okay. The client takes different things, you know, whether it's internal medication, creams, things like that. But as soon as he... For, for the rashes or for the skin? Yes. Yes. Um, so it's like a combination like folliculitis, eczema. Um, what's going on is that any time that he would like swim, go for a walk, sweat do anything physical it will flare up the skin mm. like so and that will like br break it out whenever the skin gets wet and then doesn't dry out the rash will appear so like swimming wow. will inflame it just walking where he sweats because it's uh like in the groin and buttocks mainly so gr the groin like in the crease or or just the whole groin area like the easiest way to say it is like the swimsuit area okay hmm boy you, you know i'm not sure i'm probably going to be like everybody else that he's talked to about mm -hmm. that i just have to start taking stabs at it you know, things that are like eczema oriented, you know, I look first to things like kunzia. You know, kunzia can be quite helpful with conditions like that. But. Um, and that would be something where it's just sustained inhalations. No, you would have to put it on topically in the on on some of those areas. Um, that it's in the swimsuit area that's on the the mm -hmm. butt cheeks and the groin area. Yeah, it's just this constant battle. Constant battle. You know, and so then he won't go for a walk or won't yeah, oh no, yeah, do whatever. Because yeah. otherwise the, can't put the, clothes on has to make sure everything's dry the, you know that it's in that particular area is the thing that throws me off a little bit like if it was okay. just like other parts of his body were doing that as well a lot a lot of times when we have like issues like that i would say i don't you know try to treat the skin topically a bit but then go to the digestive tract and treat the digestive back and and help with that is he having any sort of digestive issue at all it doesn't mention it but i can ask yeah would it be more of a abdominal pain discomfort no it would be else? like digesting food like he has a sensitive stomach um uh manifests as like what he would call as food allergies gets real tired after he eats uh, mm, okay, yes, because what he has done is kind of changed his diet with things, but he also, we've worked in the past for addiction, uh -huh. so with obsessive compulsive, like eating and whatnot, so uh, that's a factor too. Is, like, is he real hard on himself? Like if, if you were to, is he real thin and real hard on himself? I don't know about the hard on himself, but he is not... A, he, he's an average person thin okay thin build mm. uh, issues in childhood abandonment type things and then some of the rash might appear on the feet and the toes or bottom of the feet but that's way less and, and describe the rash like it's scaly it's flaky oh, not... it's red it's bumpy i think there's bumps i've never seen it okay let me just sit with this for a second mm, okay the groin the feet makes me wonder give me just a sec here okay thank you
Hmm. Okay, so this is this is what I would try, and I mean I'm just swinging, <laughs> like you know what I mean. I'm not sure that this is mm -hmm. this is the thing that's going to help, but it's a good first guess that it's just located in those areas throws me off a little bit. Like if it was in just a bunch of different areas, but because it's like, okay, it's in an area where he's wearing his underwear or his, you know, pants or whatever that could be doing it. But, you know, it's hard to say. Um, mm -hmm. I, I would, I would do either chamomile, like, like uh, German or Roman chamomile, like in an ointment or a lotion. Okay. or hyssop okay those those hit several kinds of skin issues that this potentially could be um and they hit multiple ones so that it's a good it's a good first step in something like this if it was just eczema i'd say let's go kunzia and everything but this sounds something more complicated um I suspect the that there's a digestive issue. The reason why I was asking about like his personality and things is there are certain kind of personality types that would have issues that would manifest as um, issues in the small intestine. Um, but you would know he would complain about it. He would complain of pain. He would have inflammatory bouts um, in the gut that would be very debilitating. It doesn't sound like that's something that he's he's complaining about. So let's just go straight forward with the chamomile or the hyssop. Okay. Yeah, I do know. I think with he tries to limit like gluten. Like if he has pizza, I know pizza yeah, and see, cheese he would have issues. So. Uh, with that, that that usually is an autonomic issue, like mm -hmm. the, um, the nerves of the gut aren't um, functioning quite as well, like they're not innervating the tissue quite as well, mm -hmm. and or it's a stress-plagued digestive tract. So I would say... Um, and it's full of stress. Yeah, so an ANS internally would be really good, or tarragon by itself rosemary by itself, anise by itself. Um, I'd do either ANS or tarragon, a couple drops in water taken internally, like daily, <laughs> you know, even, even twice daily. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm just jotting that down two yeah. times daily. I, I chuckle because I'm like, come on, just take two drops of spikenard in water, you know, in sparkling water. It's super awesome. It tastes really great. You know, he's won't even do two drops of basil in water. Mm -hmm. And he's like, I am not ingesting this stuff. So I will suggest the two okay. drops in water, yeah. drop, um, mm -hmm. two drops in water, two times a day. Okay. But aside from that, if he is just unwilling to do the internal, is there an alternate? It's hard to treat topically. Um, you could put the same stuff on topically in lotion, like five, six drops in some lotion and rub it on the abdomen. It's going to take a lot longer that way. And then back to the other with mentioning the hyssop in an ointment or lotion. I know he has hyssop, so he could use that. Mm -hmm. um, because of the gut issues, are you kind of leaning away from I would that still do both. or hyssop? Yeah, no, okay. I would still do both. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, fingers crossed he will try <laughs> <laughs> the internal method yeah oh okay um thank you another one 